As one of the three Indigenous peoples in Canada, Métis people have a distinct and historic connection to the land. We have maintained this strong relationship with the land by continuously harvesting and having a presence on it, even under pressure from external factors. This relationship has been maintained and even expanded upon both thanks to, as well as in the face of changing technologies and realities for harvesters. Yeah, it's nice to be in a warm tent getting ready to go hunt some. Yeah, so we make sure we've got our hunter orange on before we head out. So that we can leave as so safe as possible while we're out harvesting today. Get ready to go. Yeah. Alright, let's head on out. Alright, good luck. While those guys are out hunting, we're gonna just go through a couple of different things, just safety-wise and knowledge-wise that we can talk about today. So, what do you see kind of on the table right now? Bullets. Bullets, right? And bullets are just the entire kind of ammunition that we're using when we're shooting a firearm. And if we're looking specifically at these ones, what do you notice between the difference between the two? Sets. These have a plastic shell and these have a metal shell. Yeah. These have plastic and then they've got that kind of brass casing at the bottom, right? So these three here are examples of shotgun rounds, whereas these ones are rifled rounds. What do you think about this one? The, the tip's cool. Yeah. And then this one at the same time, if you look at comparing them, right? It looks kind of boring. So that round is about 100 years old, this design, and it's using a lead tip, whereas that one's got that modern plastic polymer tip on it. And the reason for that is you want the bullets to kind of pancake as they go through the animal. Because if you had something that just punches through, it's not transferring the energy very well, right? What do you see with this one? Um, bird shot. Yeah, yeah, bird shot. So a bird shot, when we're shooting at uh, birds and we're trying to harvest, say, a goose or a duck, the shotgun shell is full of all these small pellets, right? And they used to all be lead, pretty much, because of those properties that are really good. The problem was, this is spreading a lot of small pieces of lead into the environment. Animals would eat it, or animals would eat other animals that had some of that lead in them and it would make them sick and it was having a big problem. So they actually forced legally a change that we had to switch materials. And it took a long time for people to get comfortable with new stuff. Hello everybody, how was the harvest? Hey Greg, it's going good. Good, Connor. We were just chatting about uh, some ammunition and some safety stuff. So it's good that you're here. Maybe you could uh, tell Jackson a little bit about your role as captain of the hunt. I can do that. Um, captains of the hunt generally have full reign to oversee uh, to in the harvest in their region. And our region is, is to our side, but the primary things you have to take out of the harvesting is um, safety. And I see you've got hunt warrant done um, and conservation, right? So when you think of hunting and harvesting, what are the differences you think of? Well, harvesting is living off the land all the way up from the big animals down to the little plants. Right. And hunting is controlled with tags and it's exactly. a port. Exactly. It's for recreation. Yeah. And we don't do that. We harvest, we look to use every part of the animal as much as we can. We think about our community. So you anxious to get out there? Yeah, yeah I'm excited. We're going to be safe? Yeah. Well, that's, that's great then. Well, you get out there on the land and you have a nice safe day and hopefully you get something. We're going to go out, rejoin the others in a little bit. We have permission to be on this property, but we don't have permission to be on the neighbor's properties. So if we see any no trespass signs, anything posted, we're going to respect that to be safe uh, and secure while we're out hunting. And if we see any painted red dots, that means no trespass. 